Hello and welcome to The Mariners Massive. This is Football Manager 21 and today the Central Coast Mariners head over to HBF Park for a game against bottom of the table, Perth Glory. Quite why they are bottom is something of a mystery with the likes of Chris Economides, Diego Castro and the exceptional Bruno Fornaroli up front. Frank Farina is currently in caretaker charge following the sacking of Tony Vidmar, uh, so Richard Garcia already biting the bullet earlier in the season. On the bench, some really dangerous players, the likes of the quiet man, Andy Keogh, Neil Kilkenny, Nick D'Agostino, and the experience of David Carney, a recent signing. Dylan Manan, we had a look at ourselves, uh, but have since signed on for the glory following a trial with the Mariners. Our referee today is Alex King, um, it is top versus bottom in the A-League. Here in the dressing room, the advice from Big John Aloisi, our assistant manager, is to go out there and carry on straight from where you finished the last match. I think we'll go with his suggestion. A couple of players motivated, including Oli Bazanic, Ruan Tongic and Michael Yanota. Uh, we head into the tunnel where Michael Rogers has some questions. Do you know what? Big John can answer those. I am not interested. Uh, we have the match preview here. Perth Glory playing a 4-3-3 formation uh, with Diego Castro out wide on the left. I don't think that's his best position. Uh, he should be in the centre where, of course, we have Marco Urena, uh, former Los Angeles FC uh, and Costa Rican international. Uh, we are seven points clear in the A-League. Uh, with uh, Kai Rolls suspended, as is Gianni Stensnes uh, and Jack Clisby not quite back yet from uh, his injury uh, concerns. He is going to play in the youth side. I think it's the youth side that are playing this week, not the under 23s. Uh, as we just, uh, I think I'm going to change the shot map to ourselves, just uh, so that we can see that as the uh, the game progresses. It is top versus bottom, uh, as you saw in the table there. And uh, the Glory have dispensed with two managers already this season, two permanent managers. Uh, Richard Garcia bit the bullet early doors, and then uh, Tony Vidmar, Vidmar in the last week. Uh, for more information on that, check out uh, the A-League rundown uh, on the channel. That, uh, that comes out on a Sunday. Later on today in game time uh, Patrick Kisnorbo is Melbourne City head over to Sydney FC and the talk is that if they don't get a positive result there that will be the end of the reign of Patrick Kisnorbo at Melbourne City uh, in a sky blue versus city blue uh, fixture. In terms of our team here today at HBF Park we've got Mark Birigitti in goal as always Lewis Fenton continues at right back following his uh, signing. Uh, he was a free transfer, having been released by Wellington Phoenix. George Niedermeyer and Ruan Tongic are our central defensive partnership, with Stefan Negro wide on the left. Nisbet and Bozanic operate in central midfield. And then in the attacking midfield roles, we've got Yanota on the right, Urena through the middle, De Silva coming in from the left, and then Matt Simon up front with 23 goals in 17 starts and one substitute appearance this season. The advice is constantly to drop him um, and move Urena up into the forward role, but uh, as you've seen, I am not willing uh, to take that on board. Uh, we've hit the half hour mark with very little happening, uh, to be honest. Uh, as I say that though, Perth Glory are mounting an attack uh, with Jonas on the ball, uh, now Ingram, and he fires wide. Disappointing output there from uh, Dane Ingham, I think it is, for Perth Glory. Uh, one of the two, obviously, uh, Ingram brothers. Uh, Jai Ingham Brisbane Raw, I think. Uh, he may still be there during in the game, to be honest. Uh, I think in real life, he has departed uh, from Queensland. Uh, as here goes, the Mariners with some really good uh, passing football here. But he's cut out at the back. And now Perth Glory come forward. Chris Economides with the effort. But again, it's wide. 
Uh, Mariners playing in our grey kit today. I didn't know that we had one, to be honest. It's supposed to be our black kit, I believe. Uh, perhaps there's uh, a bit of uh, gremlins in the system. But be that as it may, we can actually see what's going on. Because Perth, of course, in their home shirts of bright purple. Three shots uh, apiece. Two on target for the Mariners, none for Perth. And the XG remains, uh, well, under 0.2 uh, per team here as Ruan Tongic makes the clearance. Bazanic now up to Negro. Urena going forward. Now Negro with the cross. Uh, it's cut out, but it's going to come back in, you'd think. But it's cleared by Wilson. Now Economides on the hop. Let's see if he can make inroads. He can indeed. And there's Bruno Fornaroli. Back post. Thanks to Diego Castro. So another assist for old Diego. Really good play by the glory here. Bottom side. They're looking for a big result against the Mariners. Look at that. Headed across. And Fornaroli just pulls off the back of Ruan Tongic to get a volley on goal. Mark Virigiti. Nothing much that he could do from there. As we now go forward from the kickoff, but Ingram cuts it out. Could this be a quick 1 2 for Perth Glory? They're passing it really well over on the far right. Ingram forward. Now Jonas. It's into Castro. And there's a good save by Mark Birigiti. Exactly what you need in that situation. We head into half time. One goal down. Disappointing so far. Not really uh, much that we've seen. I'm going to try and motivate the boys. Uh, certainly Matt Simon is motivated. And that's exactly what you need. Uh, the likes of uh, Simon to make a bit of a difference here. As your nota comes forward. But Perth again. Really good defensive play by the glory. So perhaps under Frank Farina. Uh, they will be a little bit more defensively solid. And keep us out. Uh, ready with the punch away from goal. And that sets Perth Glory immediately on the attack now. Uh, although we are pressuring them to go back. Fauna only with a corner. But obviously not uh, significant enough to earn a highlight. Mariners now with a corner ourselves. But again it's cleared. So... Interesting that we're not actually seeing many highlights here. Disappointing. We want to see more football. Tongic now with the headed clearance. Uh, Negro the only player to hit a 7.0 rating for us so far. Uh, as Yanota fires high wide and not very handsome. Has to be said. Uh, we have hit the hour mark here. So we are just going to make uh, a couple of substitutions. Uh, one, they want to bring off Tongic for Jankovic, which um, no, doesn't seem to be uh, one that we'll consider. In fact, Jankovic is going to come on for Yanota. Uh, and uh, De Silva coming off for Bowman. So a couple of attacking changes then as we look to uh, pick up uh, on our attacking play which has been really disappointing so far fresh legs up front but still no reaction this is what we're after we do have a corner but again no highlight disappointing football manager perhaps you could sort that out if I check the settings, well, we are on key highlights. Sorry, we're on extended highlights. I apologise. As here now, finally, we might see something happen uh, as Perth Glory go forward. But it's a penalty. Negro on Ingram. It's not a penalty. Penalty turned down. Fantastic stuff. Now, can we use that as a bit of a springboard? To motivate our boys, Jankovic goes forward. Cut out by the likes of Diego Castro. Negro forward to Nisbet. Jankovic wide now. Fenton. And there's Matt Simon. His 24th goal of the season. Fantastic. We're going to encourage the boys. Oh, in fact, 
that's just gone through the old shout that we made i think just after half time uh, as fenton now and there's the header from matt simon we are level 1-1 one, one, with around 15 minutes to go plus added time so this could be a grandstand finish could also be a bit of a damp squib you never know it certainly was when perth played the other day i can tell you that mariners with a free kick now still no highlight as the suggestion is now to bring off tongi for matthew hatch which i think we will agree with still an inferior xg to our opponents similar possession though for uh, home and away side 51 plays 49 as Perth now coming forward what we need is to take this ball and turn it up to the other end that's exactly what we're looking to do as Jankovic steals in but Castro's back on the plot infield and a good save by Mark Birigitti that's what you need a really reliable goalkeeper corner now for Perth again it's cleared and the Mariners looking to counter not uh, warranting a highlight though even though we ourselves have now got a corner delivery uh, i don't know why Jankovic is taking his time get it in the box son in fact let's change our mentality let's for the last few minutes let's go a little bit further forward could that prove to be costly as mark birigitti gathers possession on the edge of his own box big ball downfield yeah uh, unfortunately Perth are going to come forward now and it's a great strike but Birigitti does well to turn the ball over the bar uh, Jonas with the strike and now here's Bowman can we launch a counter possibly but we're not going to see a highlight I think that's been uh, pretty much the theme of the game so far is that we are being uh, unfairly done to when it comes to the lack of highlights considering that both teams have had eight shots on goal uh, four on target for the glory three for ourselves uh, and this is going to peter out into a 1-1 draw uh, as here we are in the final the dying embers of the game now negro yeah uh, apparently the referee calls time a thrilling second half would have been lovely to see a bit more of it to be quite honest uh, but football manager not playing the game really uh, disappointing uh, it was a good effort i think the boys should be proud of what they've done i think we'll turn our attention now to find out what happens uh, with melbourne city away at sydney fc uh, that game kicked off an hour after ours so uh, it'll be a later score but it will be good to see how Patrick Kisnorbo's side are getting on over in uh, the territory of the Sky Blues. And before we get there, we've got uh, Joe Cooper. How damaging was it for your team to concede on the brink of half time? Uh, well, I was hoping we could hang on, obviously. That's his only question. Fantastic. Thanks for that. Uh, and apparently we're not actually going to see the live score right so tune in to the a-league rundown this sunday to find out whether patrick kisnorbo has now bit the bullet with city down in ninth place on the ladder the games are dwindling there's only about six or seven still to play uh, for the various teams so if you're not in the top six already you are looking like you might not make it and there are some big sides like the likes of MacArthur, Melbourne City and Western Sydney Wanderers looking set to miss out. In real life, of course, they're the ones putting the pressures, uh, putting the pressure on Alan Stajic's Central Coast Mariners. Uh, not as it seems here in the world of the Mariners Massive. Thank you for joining me today and I'll see you on Sunday for the rundown.